Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany, and I'm Laura. And today we're gonna read about something called Kimo da Meshi Fun. Um, I didn't know you can speak Japanese, Tiffany. I know, I only can speak a little bit. The rest I forgot. 可是你讲这个什么 Kimo 可可可可，这到底是什么啊？我们今天是要上日文课还是要上英文呢？ Well, a little bit of both. We're gonna learn a little bit about Japanese culture,、mm. but it's in English, so don't worry. Okay, so today, 呢，我们要聊到有关 Kimo da Meshi Fun. 可是我们现在可能 we don't want to spoil the fun. 我们不想先破梗 Okay, 好啦，那嗯，可以讲一些有关这个主题的东西吗 ？Well, I think it's more about the idea of um doing a surprise for someone. <gasps> 我懂你的意思。Yeah. I love surprises. 所以今天是有关一些惊喜哟、哦。Mm-hmm. 大家喜欢惊喜吗？如果喜欢的话 ，Let's take a look at today's article. Kimo da meshi fun. 请在美剧朗读后一起跟着念哦。Let's go. I'm bored. There's nothing to do. Come on, let's think of something fun to do. We could throw a surprise party for Eli's birthday. Good idea. Let's make it really special. No, we can do kimo dameshi. What's that? Kimo dameshi is Japanese. It means test of courage. What do you do? First, you get into pairs. Then what? One team goes into a scary place. Another team goes in after a few minutes. Is that it? No, they also have to bring something back. I get it. If they do that, they pass the test. Hmm. Will Eli like kimo dameshi? I think so. Let's do it. Idea, idea. The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. Test, test. Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Team, team. Todd is good at sports. He plays 
on the school's basketball team. Todd is good at sports. He plays on the school's basketball team. Pass. Pass. Mr. Smith did not let Joey pass the course because he seldom came to class. Mr. Smith did not let Joey pass the course because he seldom came to class. All right, so we're going to take a look at a conversation first. And we have this person called Jody, and she says, "I'm bored. There's nothing to do." Okay, so 一开始呢，我们来看一下我们的主角，有个叫 Jody 的女生，她就说，啊、哦，我好无聊哦。注意哦，同学们，如果当你感到很无聊，你不能说 "I'm boring." A lot of people make this mistake. That's Chinese English, 是中式英语，不要再这么说了。因为 "I'm boring" 是说你是一个无。去的人，你让大家感到很无聊。如果你要说我感到无聊，没有事情可以做，也就是 Jody 这时的情况，你就要用 I'm bored. Okay,、mm-hmm. and then she says there's nothing to do. 就是哦，都没有事情可以做。Right, and then Aiden says, "Come on, let's think of something fun to do." Oh, 那这时候呢？哎 ，Aiden 就说，好啦，好啦 ，Come on, 来嘛，让我们想一些有事情的，呃，有趣的事情来做。OK， 这里他用到了 think of。Think of 就是想到什么，或是想一个 idea， 一个不错的点子。Okay, let's think of a a way to solve this problem. 来想一个方法来解决这个问题。Or let's think of a idea to solve a problem.、Mm. All right, so they're gonna try to think about some things to do, and then Jody says we could throw a surprise party for Eli's birthday. Okay, so that's a great idea. You want to throw somebody a party? So to throw a party or to throw means to plan. So for example, we see here they're going to throw a surprise party. You can also throw something called an engagement party when two people are about to get married, and then we have to throw a graduation party. So when you、um, are graduating from the fifth grade to the sixth grade, or Graduating from high school, you could throw a graduation party. Hmm. Okay. So, 接着呢 ，Jody 就说，哎，我们可以帮 Eli 的生日举办一个惊喜派对。Okay, 大家都知道这个 surprise party 就是惊喜派对。不过呢，有没有注意它前面的动词？我们用到的是 throw. Throw 其实就有举办的意思，是一个比较口语的用法。如果比较正式，我们可以用 hold. H O L D. Hold a party. Okay, 可是不过呢，通常呢，我们会说 to throw a party. Okay, 来表示举办一个派对。那刚刚 Tiffany 老师有补充了，还有什么我们可以举办呢？哎，如果未来呢，如果你们毕业的时候就可以 throw a graduation party， 就是一个大家可能毕业啦，很开心要开一个派对来庆祝哦。那 engagement party 当然就是订婚的派对。Okay, so next, Aiden says, "Good idea." Let's make it really special. Hmm.、Mm, okay. This time, Aiden says, "Wow, good idea." If you hear a great idea, you certainly will say, "Good idea." But you can say, "Great idea." Okay. That he wants to think of a way to make this birthday celebration different, to make it different. So he has a sort of special meaning, this "don't be too special" kind of meaning. Make it really special. Because, of course, it's a surprise party, so you want to make it special. You want to actually even scare that person. Sometimes for fun, guys.、Yeah. You want them to remember it, I guess. All right. So here we see our word power word. We see the word idea. Idea is spelled I D E A. Idea. It's a noun and it means a thought, a plan, or suggestion about what to do. So we talked about using good idea. We can say it is a good idea to bring an umbrella if it's cloudy, or you can do the opposite. You can say it's a Bad idea to make that dog angry. All right, let's take a look at our word power sentence. It says the writer got the idea for the book from his dog. The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. 
。OK， 我们来看一下 idea 这个字哦，就是点子啦，想法哦。所以刚刚我们有提到，就是说想到一个很棒的点子，就是 think of a good idea。OK， 那刚刚呢，其实崔春老师有补充到，如果有好点子的话，像是比如说 to bring an umbrella if it's cloudy， 就是说，哎，如果呢你觉得天气阴暗的 cloudy 的话，哎，带一个雨伞是一个不错的点子，一个想法。It's a good idea. But of course, there are also bad ideas. 当然也有不好的点子，或是不好的想法。如果看到一个狗，它可能看起来很易怒。It's a bad idea to make that dog angry. 然后你可能又去挑衅它的话，当然是一个很糟糕的一个想法，就是你可能会被狗咬哦。OK， 我们来看一下刚刚的例句，提到就是 The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. 哦、oh, ，就是那个作家从他的狗的身上得到那本书的灵感。Sometimes you can get a lot of great ideas from your pets, right? Yeah, I agree. All right, next, what does Jody say? She says, "I know we can do." Do chemo damage. Oh, 这时候 Jody 就跟 Tiffany 一样很爱线，想要来秀日文吗？他说我知道了，我们可以玩 chemo damage. Hmm.、Uh, what's that? I know this is a question that we all want to know. And Aiden asks for us. He says, "What's that?" 对呀、啊，那是什么挖沟？没有啦，<笑>就是到底是什么？东西 ，OK， chemo damage. Yeah, sounds so serious. It's the kind of food that sounds like sushi. I'm hungry. I know it sounds good. OK, but it's not something we can <laughs> eat. Joni says chemo damage is Japanese. It means test of courage. Okay. Oh, OK. Now we know what it means. Right. It makes、uh, sense. What does courage mean? Oh, courage is um the ability to be brave. So, um, you do something even though you know it's really difficult. Or it's dangerous. So, okay, I need an example, Tiffany. Okay,、um, are you afraid of the dark? <gasps> 我超怕黑的。我是说了，我超怕黑的。我很胆小。Really? Yeah, really? Okay, I'm really afraid of the dark. Oh, well, they're gonna be ghosts. <laughs> well, Laura, you can show great courage if you try to sleep with the lights off. <gasps> yeah. What if I see a ghost? What if I see、you、a ghost? You won't. You won't. It's all in your head. Try to be brave, just like、um, what this Kimo Dameshi is trying to let you do. Because <laughs> Laura Papai. Okay, lah. We're going to explain a little Kimo Dameshi. 它不是 sushi， 也不是吃的，但它是 Japanese 哦，它是日文哦。它跟 sushi 一样，都是日文。它意思就是这个。胆量测试，或是有点像是我们的试胆大会这样子的一个概念。那刚刚 Tiffany 提到就是 courage 这个字，因为课文提到就是 it means test of courage。OK， courage 是什么呢？一般我们有勇气的意思。那如果你要说很勇敢的话，我们可以用一个形容词，就是 brave， b r a v e。那刚刚 Tiffany 就举个例子啦，比方像是我很胆小，我很害怕黑暗，所以如果要试试我的胆量的话，可能 Tiffany 老师说好啦。那你是不是可以试试看，晚上睡觉的时候，整个漆黑的关灯，什么都看不见 ？OK， 我不敢。<笑> you can. I'm, I'm a chicken. I'm gonna give you a stuffed animal. How about that to help you? Oh, 好啦，我要一个 teddy bear. Thanks. <笑> All right. So here we also saw another word. Power word. We saw the word test. T E S T test. It's a set of questions, and this is something that we take all the time.、Um, a teacher gives you a set of questions and problems, and it's meant to test to see if、um, we know a lot about this.、Um, it's to measure our skills or our knowledge and our abilities. So the teachers. They're not just doing it because they hate you, or they want to make your life miserable. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some. I'm just kidding. But they just want to make sure that you understand、um, everything that they said at school. All right. So let's take a look at our word power sentence. It says Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Oh no, poor Isabel! I know. 我们来看一下 test 呢。其实大家应该对这个字不陌生吧？就是你们最怕的，也最不喜欢的考试。不过 test 呢这个字呢，当做名词来用，还有这个试验啦，或是测试这样的意思。像是 IQ test 就是要测试试看，测试一下你的 IQ， 你的智商高不高？像我就很聪明。OK， <笑>好了，那如果呢，你通过考试，我们要用什么动词？就是 pass the test。那如果不及格，嗯哼，就像 Isabel， 我们来看一下例句哦。Isabel 她 she failed the test， 她考试不及格。那当然不及格要怎么样 ？So she has to take it again， 所以她得再考一次。Oh, what, what? 
That kind of <laughs> sucks for her, but it's okay. She can try again. All right, let's continue reading. Aiden says, "What do you do?" Right? What do we do for chemo damage? How do we test our courage? Yeah. So, what are the rules? 要怎么玩呢 Jody says, first you get into pairs." Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 首先要两两一组 Aiden asks, "Then what?" 然后嘞 Jody goes on to explain. One team goes into a scary place. Another team goes in after a few minutes. Okay, I'm out. 我不去这种东西。I know this doesn't sound fun. Okay, 一队先进去一个恐怖的地方，几分钟之后，另外一队再接着进去。I don't want to go there. I, know, I don't、um, want to join. Okay, I know. let's just do something else. Let's just read this and then let's just do something else. Let's、okay. just go have cake. <laughs> okay, but what does this word team means? Team is spelled T E A M. Team, and it's a group of people who compete in a sport or a game, and they usually play against、um, each other or another group of people. So, for example,、um, basketball is a sport, so you have basketball teams, you have volleyball teams, or you can even have a bowling team.、Um, sometimes. Sometimes,、uh, for example, they, we can say this is a team sport. So, for example, tennis you can also play in teams as well, but you play with two people. All right, so let's take a look at our word power sentence. It says Todd is good at sports. He plays on the school's basketball team. Todd is good at sports. He plays on the school's basketball team. He sounds cute and popular. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 我们来看一下 team 这个字就是队 ，OK， 就是一组什么人或是一队什么人。所以通常我们想到都是跟 sports 跟运动有关，像是篮球队就是。Basketball team. Okay, 那刚刚 Tiffany 提到 bowling team. 天哪，我想到我好久没有打保龄球，好不好 ？Okay, we should go some other time. I know that's better than the chemo damage. 对呀、啊，然后刚刚提到的 a team sport 又是什么呢？其实。我们用网球来举例最简单，像是 team tennis， 就是一定要双打，所以你一定要就是有团队精神，也就是 team spirit。We have team spirit， 各位 ，like 对呀、啊。Yeah. OK， 刚刚的例句我们来看一下 ，Todd 他很擅长运动，他参加学校的篮球队哦。嗯 ，OK， next， Aiden says， is that it？ 嗯、mm, ，OK， 所以就是这样子吗？这这么简单的规则吗？啊、uh, ，Jody says no. They also have to bring something back. Oh, 不止！天哪，这听起来好恐怖。<笑>他们还必须怎么样带回一些东西？哎 ，And then Aiden says, "I get it. If they do that, they pass the test." Oh, 所以当然我们还不知道有多恐怖嘛。他只是这样听起来规则是简单的。所以 Aiden 说：“我懂了，我懂了。”I get it. 但如果他们带回东西的话，哎。其实这就表示他们通过这个测试了哦。那通过我刚刚有略提到，我们来听听看 Tiffany 怎么解释 pass。嗯 ，pass is spelled P-A-S-S pass， and it means to complete a test or class successfully. Let's take a look at our word power sentence. It says Mr. Smith did not let Joey pass the course because he seldom came to class. Mr. Smith did not let Joey pass the course because he seldom came to class. OK， 我们来看一下 pass 这个动词。刚刚其实已经讲过，再提醒大家，就是通过，像是一个考试或是一个测验等等这样的意思哦。希望大家都可以 pass the test， 好吗？那刚刚的例句就是说 ，Smith 老师没有让 Joey 过这堂课哦， oh, 因为他很少来上课，所以要好好的听课，而且去上课。OK，、mm-hmm. right？ And Jody says， Well， Eli like Kimo Damashi。对啊， Eli 会不会喜欢 Kimo Damashi 啊？ Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden says, "I think so. Let's do it." Well, Aiden Hello, everyone. This is Winnie. 今天文章中 Jody and Aiden are thinking about throwing a surprise party for Ellie. 我们学过 throw 是丢弃、抛的意思，比如说 throw away the garbage or throw the ball to me. 不过 throw a party 可不是说要丢 throw 一个 party 派对诶。我们固定用 throw a party 这样的动词片语，表示举办派对。比如前不久 ，Winnie 的好朋友 Mandy 要出国念书了。我们一群好朋友就提议 ，Hey， let's throw a party before Mandy leaves the country. 
Let's throw a party before Mandy leaves the country. 在 Mandy 出国以前，办个派对吧。不过，眼尖的你们有没有发现，只有搭配 party throw 呢，才有举办的意思哦。其实，比如说其他事件啊、活动等等的举办，我们可以改用 hold。Hold a party or hold a meeting. 比如我们可以说 the meeting will be held in a week. The meeting will be held in a week. 会议会在一周后举行。另外，举办还有个动词片语 take place， 也是可以通用任何活动的举办和发生。比如说派对，你也可以说 the year-end party will take place in front of the city hall. The year-end party will take place in front of the city hall. 跨年晚会会在市政府前举办，或是 The picnic will take place on Saturday afternoon. The picnic will take place on Saturday afternoon. 野餐是办在周六的午间。Okay, before getting ready for the party, let's see if you get this right. The fans are in a birthday party for the movie star. 空格里该填 A holding, B throwing, or C. 以上皆是呢。Check your answer right after the break. The answer is C. The fans are holding or throwing a birthday party for the movie star. 你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, for review, I am going to quiz Tiffany. You better pass <gasps> the test. How do you spell test? T S T. Okay. Oh my god. What about idea? Idea. Uh, idea. Oh my god. Team, team, team. T A M. Pass. P A S S.、Oh、did I pass? You, of course you did. Of I just realized I our word powers are so easy. I know. I am. Why is word power so easy? Ah, 同学们，那你们是不是都会记起来？今天我们教你的四个单词呢 ？Okay, you better. Yeah, you better pass, you better pass this. Test. <laughs> It's so easy. But you know what? All I'm thinking right now is about the chemo damage. What's gonna happen? Is is it, is somebody gonna die? I don't know, but it's really <laughs> scary. But don't forget to listen in. On our day two, because we have to find out tomorrow.、Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't know if I'm going to die. Okay, I'm joking. Okay, we'll find out tomorrow. Until next time, I'm Laura. I'm Tiffany. Goodbye. Bye. Chemo damage. 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 We could throw a surprise party for Eli's birthday. Good idea. Let's make it really special. I know. We can do kimo dameshi. What's that? Kimo dameshi is Japanese. It means test of courage. What do you do? First, you get into pairs. Then what? One team goes into a scary place. Another team goes in after a few minutes. Is that it? No, they also have to bring something back. I get it. If they do that, they pass the test. Hmm. Will Eli like kimo dameshi? I think so. Let's do it. Idea. Idea. The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. The writer got the idea for the book from his dog. Test, test. Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Isabel failed the test, so she has to take it again. Team, team. Todd is good at sports. He plays on the school's basketball team. Todd is good at sports. He plays on the school's basketball team. Pass, pass. Mr. Smith did not let Joey. 
pass the course because he seldom came to class. Mr. Smith did not let Joey pass the course because he seldom came to class.